Do you want to win by just playing theory? Well, I've got something for you. And White starts a game with e4, and we are going to go for the Sicilian. And this trap I'm going to show you happens after the Smith Mora Gambit, which is after d4. And after we take, they're not going to take with the queen, but they're going to play c3. Basically saying, and we're going to go into this line. After they take, we take with the knight. And the main idea of white is, okay, they've gambited the pawn, uh, but they have good control over the center. They have a piece developed, and our pieces are all still on the uh, starting position. Uh, they also have open file for the queen. Nice development option, so... Uh, yeah, that's the main idea behind this gambit. Uh, they have a lot of compensation uh, for losing the pawn. Uh, but we don't care and we are going to just bring our knight out. And um, yeah, white uh, just plays theory from uh, from here on. Uh, they're going to play knight f3. Uh, this is just main stuff, just developing. And here we're going to go for e6. Basically saying, okay, we want to strike in the center. White prevents that by playing bishop c4. And here we're going to put our queen here. And at this point, usually your opponent starts thinking a bit because they're like, okay, my bishop is not defended, so maybe he does some discoveries. But they quickly notice that wherever this knight moves, it, it's not really dangerous, so they're just going to castle. And still, this is theory, and indeed, uh, moving the knight, uh, there's no point in doing that. They can just save their bishop uh, really easily. Um, but instead, we're just going to develop our other knight. And yeah, this is why this trap is so, so devious, because... Yeah, even at this point, we're, we're really close to setting our trap, actually. And yeah, it still looks like there's nothing going on. It's just we're both developing our pieces. And uh, yeah, um, so the main move here for white is to play queen e2. Uh, basically uh, defending the pawn some more and defending the bishop, if need be. Uh, and here we can actually set our trap. And still, this is theory. It's the most played moves um, from the basically from when the smith Gora -Gam Morat gambit started. Um, and here we're going to play knight g4. This is a really important move. And believe it or not, uh, the second most played move here is actually a blunder um, and loses the queen for white. And you might say, okay, why is white going to lose a queen here? I mean, it's not even attacked. And if it gets attacked, it has lots of places to go to. So how can you possibly lose the queen here? Well, let me show you. The second most played move here is h3. Basically kicking a knight out saying, okay, it's not doing anything. And yeah, what are you going to do? Well, here we're going to attack the queen. And you might think again, well, white doesn't lose the queen, right? I mean, first of all, they can take the knight. Well, if they do that, this is checkmate. Remember, we put our queen here a while back. So they can take the knight here. Um, but you might think, okay, then they can just save the queen, right? Well, wrong. Because after we take the knight with check, um, there's nothing white can do to prevent the same checkmate. So they can take, this is checkmate. They can take with the pawn, it's the same checkmate. Um, they can take this knight because this is check, so the only other move they have basically is to put the king there, and this is still checkmate. Uh, so in this position, you can actually just pre-move uh, queen h2 checkmate. So okay, they can't move the queen, and they can take the knight, which means they have to lose the queen, and that's why I said in this position, h3 does actually lose the queen. So the best they can do is take this knight, and after we take the queen, take that knight. And they have two pieces for the queen, which is just not enough. Uh, we are easily going to uh, win here. Uh, so that's the main idea behind the trap. Uh, just to show you one other thing. Um, this can happen in a lot of other positions as well. So if they say, okay, this knight is not doing anything. I'm just going to go for my own plan. I'm going to play like a four, something like that. Um, if they don't uh, do anything about the strat, we can still go for this plan. And uh, yeah, it basically works out the same way. Uh, this time even better because they can take a knight because the pawn is not, not there. Uh, so they basically just have to give up a queen. Engine says g3 is best. So we take the queen and yeah, they can take back with the bishop probably because else they lose the bishop as well. Uh, yeah, now, now we've just got a queen for one piece even. So uh, yeah. So basically in this position uh, uh, is where the danger is and uh, white often goes wrong. And if white doesn't go wrong, uh, again, there's lots of moves here. Uh, um, Let's see what the engine says is best. It's all around equal. I see G3 is uh, played a lot here. Um, and there's nothing uh, wrong here still. Uh, it's an equal position. Um, uh, remember, we're still up a pawn because white played the Smith Mora Gambit. So this is completely fine to play. So uh, yeah, uh, definitely uh, try out uh, this trap. Um, and even in this position, uh, the most played move is uh, to take the knight or to move the queen. 
Uh, so you're probably gonna get a checkmate, and if not, you're gonna win the queen. So uh, it's uh, it should be easy from that point onwards. So uh, let me know if you uh, caught someone uh, in this trap, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.